As a clinical psychologist, my programs are largely focused on coping skills and mental health. I knew nothing about electronic health records because in New York State, believe it or not, licensed psychologists can still use paper records. So all of my therapy notes are in hard copy pen and paper folders. Dr. Peter Elkin at the University of Buffalo was a faculty senator with me. I was talking to him about my program of research and he said, what about bioinformatics? Because I'm a statistician also, I teach statistics. And essentially, he sold me on the idea of, you know, this is worthwhile because I'd had no exposure to or training in looking at and working with electronic health records. I already had a PhD and a postdoc and a licensed degree with a credential and a private practice, and I'm doing what I love but I wanted to do it better. I wanted real world data to inform our interventions. The training was extremely attractive to me and turned out to be very valuable in terms of my career. My fellowship and my goals had to be very clear, precise, and specific because you only have eight weeks and I'm working the other 10 months of the year as a faculty member. Every day I went to the Department of Biomedical Informatics at UB in the summer, and I worked with Dr. Elkin and his team, just learning about the health records used in the systems in Western New York. My goals were to A, learn about electronic health record analyses, and B, explore long-term bariatric surgery patients and factors contributing to response versus non-response. I had a little bit of pessimism, what would we find? Would we find enough patients to even do the analysis? In nearly 900,000 patients, we found less than 100 with any kind of bariatric surgery tag. So we looked quite deeply at those 89 patients. Ultimately, zero patients, we were able to see what procedure they had. Zero patients, were we able to see the date of their procedure. It's a mess, to put it mildly. I have a, a student who's a master's of public health from another university. She's a mortician by training and came into the field of obesity because of all of the deceased bodies that were young and overweight. And she is actually going to be applying for a PhD now in biomedical informatics to answer these questions. I'm so lucky in that I'm a translational scientist and that I actually get to translate the interventions that we're creating with my patients in practice. The most important thing that I have gained is the network and the connections and the multidisciplinary team members who are phenomenal and can help me answer questions that there was absolutely no way for me to do those analyses before.